Hey there folks, Rel here. Today we're going to be going over some ways to find more content on Planetside 2, as well as resources on the game itself. So whether it's YouTubers or live streamers or weapon stats, we're going to quickly move through the different ways you can access those types of resources, and there are a lot of them. The first way to look for more content is to find Planetside 2 YouTubers and streamers. There are a bunch of great channels that, if you're interested, you should really make it a point to check out. I'm not going to go over each of them individually, but some of those guys have been doing this for years now and don't get nearly the recognition that I personally think that they deserve. So if you're interested in checking out some of the best, most consistent Planetside 2 content creators, I've linked their channels in the video description below for you. Another way to find Planetside 2 content, be it live streams or recent videos on Planetside 2 by various members of the community, is to check out www.gaming.youtube.com. Then you type Planetside 2 into the search box and you'll immediately start seeing Planetside 2 content. So if you're logged in, you can subscribe to the game itself and easily see new content as it goes live. And you can also toss your favorite YouTubers into your right side hotbar so that their updates will show up in your feed. And you can click on their channels and see all their new stuff really easily without having to use the search box, without having to rely on bookmarks or anything crazy like that. Another way to find more live streams that are going on, either on PC or the PS4 versions of the game, is to go right to Twitch and then look up Planetside 2 as the game. Not the channel, but the game. I've left a link in the video description for you that goes directly to that, but anyone who is currently streaming under the Planetside 2 tag will have their feed pop up there, and it's a good way to find more viewership for your stream as well. Content isn't just streams and videos though. A lot of updates and information about Planetside 2 come through Twitter, Reddit, and the official forums, but mostly Twitter and Reddit unless it's a big official update. I put together a list of developers that you can follow on Twitter for Planetside 2 updates and such, and you can pick and choose who you'd like to follow by just viewing the list. And if you go to planetside2.com slash feed, you can click on the Reddit tab and see all of the official threads that made their way over to Reddit. Usually the Reddit posts just mirror the forums, but this is a quick way to see everything that's been put out recently, not to mention there are a bunch of other filters that show off various forms of Planetside 2 content on that feed page as well. Speaking of Reddit, the Planetside 2 subreddit is extremely active, it's full of content. Granted, most of that content is complaining and troll posting, but you'll find some good stuff in there every so often as well. Lots of players still post their funny moments, they post their fan art and the new videos that they've been working on, so it's good to look at every now and again, just take the whining for what it's worth. If you're looking to track your progress as a player, maybe so that you can improve, or just show your friends how much better than them you are, there are a bunch of stat tracker sites that'll give you breakdowns of your characters. Planetstats.net is the easiest one to use, and it's also my favorite, and it'll gauge your overall improvement over the last 30 days. Stats.dawsonfall is more complex, but it has a lot of detailed information, especially on your infantry gameplay. And if you're interested in finding more outfit-oriented information, you can always visit araxis.info. If you'd really like to delve into the weapon statistics and stuff, I've also listed a bunch of links in the video description that'll point you toward what attachments do, what the last known resistance values are, how weapon mechanics work, all these little odds and ends. Most of these are spreadsheets that were put together by the community at one time or another, so they're all likely to be outdated in some respects, but it's still got a lot of good information there, and at the very least, it can give you a look into how the game works behind the scenes. The last two things I'd like to talk about here are the Instant Action Podcast and the Starter Kit Playlist. The Instant Action Podcast is a weekly podcast hosted by Derringer that covers recent events that have happened in the sphere of Planetside 2. The Starter Kit Playlist is a playlist of videos that I put together geared toward helping newer players figure the game out. I've also listed a bunch more links in the video description for your perusal as well, but this is, like I said, a video that is just meant to outline some of the content that you may have been missing within the community. If this video has been interesting, helpful, or entertaining, please feel free to like, subscribe, tell your friends about the channel, and if you have any additional resources that you'd like to share, you can go ahead and leave those in the comment section down below. Thanks very much folks, we're all signing off.